And again, we are following breaking news in Manhattan. The NYPD responding to a massive out of control crowd gathering right now in Union Square Park, where a social media influencer, Kai Sanat, told his followers he's giving away PlayStations. Newscopter 7 and Shannon Sohn is live over the scene with the breaking details, but we do have reporters on the ground. Uh, we're going to turn to Stefan. Yeah, so Sandra, about 15 minutes ago, this space that I'm standing in right now, this was 14th Street between Broadway and University. This was barricaded off by NYPD, and it was filled with only NYPD officers in riot gear. Now, we keep talking about the moment that police officers gained the upper hand. I can tell you how they gained that upper hand. We can break that down because we were in the crowd as that actually unfolded. So we were standing on Broadway at that intersection for our own safety along the barricade next to the line of police officers and we noticed a flood of officers in riot gear show up that's when oh here we go something's going on they're now moving them out of Union Square looks like uh, you're looking north and you see more officers arriving heading westbound they're moving the crowd so you can see them on top of the uh, structure the subway station entrance there still and it looks like they're attempting to move them perhaps eastward out of the park but as I was saying uh, earlier uh, a number Number of officers in riot here just showed up, uh, and they, it's almost as if they knew not to announce themselves or give any anyone any kind of a heads up that it was happening. And as soon as they showed up, they broke right through that barricade. Obviously, practiced this more than a few times, and then just rushed southward down Broadway, east across 14th, and north up Broadway. And they dispersed this intersection here. If you look at it, Hector, again one more time, this, that's why this is now empty uh, and. I occupied only by police officers. That perimeter has been moved, shifted as far east as maybe two blocks eastward and another avenue westward. So they're continuing to push this perimeter outwards, trying to gain the advantage, I suppose. Um, we can only assume that inside of Union Square, here they go, they're breaking down barriers now, and now they're making a move. So I think they gave them about 20 minutes to maybe let them diffuse themselves, uh, let them disperse, and now they're making a secondary move. Looks like they're moving the barricades inward more, and they're gonna gain ground, right? So they're gonna give an inch, uh, take a foot. This is gonna keep happening until, and there they go, and there's a crowd now moving eastward. Looks like, there go cops now on the left of your screen. Their line is moving forward, and they're now moving them out east, and everyone, everyone now has now gotten off that subway station entrance that they were all on top of using ropes and ladders. Looks like they're coming down, they're making arrests over there. Uh, there's two individuals on top, and as Josh mentioned, some of these individuals are very young. I mean, middle school kids, um, very dangerous, right? They're climbing on top of these structures, they're being shoved and pushed around. Uh, a lot of them tell us that they weren't afraid for their safety, but they, they don't know what they don't know, right? This can turn sideways very quickly, um, and we are grateful, in fact, because when we were following them behind the perimeter, there was a point where things got dicey, and an officer pulled us back, extracted us. That was definitely for the better, um, but things are coming Palmer, but as you can see, unresolved. So we'll keep an eye on things and be back to you. All right. Okay, Stefan, thank you. Well, Stefan, we are now learning that actually investigators do know where that influencer is at this point. They are now going to uh, interview him and uh, try to get to the bottom of uh, what has now sparked this mayhem. Yeah. We now want to.